The Earth as seen from the North Pole. A unique and irreplaceable planet. A place where the elements come together in perfect harmony to allow men and women to breathe, run, laugh, cry, love and live. It is then vital that we look after it. A large part of the available energy resources go towards lighting and heating buildings. Until now, serious attention had not been paid to the responsible use of these energy resources. As we know they are finite, we must develop models of sustainable development. The Bioclimatic Showhouse promoted by the Sotavento Galicia Foundation attempts to demonstrate the possibilities that the correct building techniques can provide in terms of energy savings and improvements in the quality of life. But what do we mean by bioclimatic construction? It involves using architectural techniques that take climate and environmental conditions into account in order to help to achieve comfort inside the building while using as little energy as possible. It's not a new concept. The granaries, balconies and the orientation of houses in Galicia are some examples of this architectural coherence. In the Sotavento Bioclimatic Showhouse, we can see the concepts and foundations of bioclimatic architecture and bioconstruction. We will discover these principles in an accessible way, but also in a rigorously scientific, realistic and coherent way. We will look at the orientation of the house, the materials used for insulation and the way the environment's natural energy flows are used. Visitors will be able to see for themselves the real costs and benefits and the environmental value. Other complementary forms of energy are integrated into the house. Renewable and efficient installations for which we can compare characteristics, performance, advantages and disadvantages. This is done by monitoring consumption and performance and evaluating this from a financial and environmental point of view. The tour of the house is designed for groups of 15. They follow a specific route to gradually view the spaces and structures that form the house. They see, step by step, the installations and devices used in the house. What about you? Cambiaría allí a mi orientación a mi casa y orientaría perfectamente al sur. Tan radiante. Pues lo que me parece más rentable sería todos los sistemas de ventilación y orientación de la casa de tener en cuenta, porque aparte de que no costaría nada, eh, aforrarías muchísimo en energía. O dos cerramentos, un muro trombe, parece muy muy interesante, una forma sencilla de de aforrar energía o térmica, o sea, energía térmica. Adomado. 
e despois algo que me parece moi original é o aproveitamento de auga que se perde no baño para o uso da cisterna porque tamén se aforra moitísima auga. Un saleiros para evitar que os raios do sol entraran en verán. Por suposto, pois unhos paneles solares, tanto térmicos como fotovoltaicos. Access to energy in the 20th century allowed buildings to be constructed in cities that ignored environmental and energy issues, turning construction into a huge drain on energy resources. On visiting the Sotavento Bioclimatic Showhouse, we will see how old construction models have been reused, such as how the orientation of the building, the design and materials are adapted to climatic and environmental conditions of the area where construction takes place. The house shows us how to make use of solar power in winter and for heating and controlling its effects in summer and shows us the economic and environmental benefits of this optimization of the power of the sun. The passive use of energy as a result of the building's design and active energy represented by the different renewable support installations, are introduced into a system which decides which to make use of depending on the conditions at the time. does not break up the visual field and is not a blot on the landscape. Its construction involves the minimum in land removal. The orientation and design allow the house to make the most of the winter sun while protecting the north face. Another essential characteristic of the building is the choice of materials. Locally sourced wood, slate or granite reduce the CO2 emissions usually associated with construction. copper, rock wool from volcanic rocks and minimum use of concrete are other examples of construction criteria used. Solar power, biomass and geothermics are the heat sources used to provide the house with hot water and heating. The wind and the sun will generate electricity. An extensive network of sensors will provide information on the workings, condition and performance of the technology used. This information will be displayed at all times on screens installed in the house. Something that has been given great consideration in the construction of the house is the problem of water shortages across the planet. Where possible, the house uses rainwater, recycles grey water and uses efficient plumbing and taps. These installations are measured and compared for their efficiency. A complex artificial intelligence system will use data from the sensors to make decisions and activate the automatic systems in the house with the aim of providing interior comfort with the best use of energy and least impact on the environment possible. A database stores all this information for its later scientific study and the creation of simulations. The data will be used to create codes for simulations and prototypes, which will make it possible to correct errors and improve future production of highly efficient energy.
top class installations, a great learning experience as shown by the 25,000 visitors annually, and a great leap forward in the setup of the R&D&I projects. The Sotavento Environmental Wind Farm is the ideal place to start your exciting journey across the renewable planet.